So we're saying something like this on City Ways. It's building up, but then when that beat drops, it has to But like the, the other thing is, shoot, I only thought about like it actually having to build up. Because if we were gonna, because I really like those other ones, and if we, but if we decided to use those, you have to have another part to it. Like, like that just couldn't be the song. It could come in hitting as well. Like the face first intro, it hits from the, the time it starts, right? You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't mind that either. Like to me, of of like current songs that are out, the one, the one that makes sense to me that I think has done really well on like highlight films and stuff. It's something to prove. From a from a beat standpoint. By the way, he just spelled it. It's something. It's definitely not something. Okay, It's spelled type of super black. No, it's something. S U M M. It's S U M M. Yeah. Wait, John typed it like the real way. Like something. What up, big bro? It's an honor. I appreciate it. So you know it's only right I just do what I do. See, read, let's get it. Uh. And they say all oh, fair and love and war, bro. But if I don't make no more plays and they ain't showing no more love, so I keep it playing, never too high or too low. Staying true to my real self, cause I'm a legend either way you go. And I'm a grind, grind hard to my heart. Stop you faking when you working like that rollie when it tick tock. And y'all more interested in making TikToks. I'm to play y'all, so I swear I counted like six drops. And I know how many dudes would wanna switch spots. So I'm working like a dog doing push ups to my wrist pop. To the tip top. Used to tell us kick rocks. Headed to the mall so I can put rocks in my wrist watch. I'm putting ice all in my bezel like my wrist hot. For the love of the game, not for the fame. Keep your eyes on the prize. I mean, really stay in your lane. In the blink of an eye, before you know, man, it could change. It's crazy how life works. I get out of the hospital one day. My body's feeding off itself, trying to kill me. Somebody else kills one of my best friends. So now all I could think about was the fact that Sean's not playing anymore, but God chose me. I get my opportunity. So I wore 21 every day to bring him on the field with me. And it wasn't a day that went by that I didn't think about the fact that I was dying, yet he did. So I knew that every opportunity I had to get out on that field, it had to be my opportunity. And we win the Super Bowl that year. And after the game, a reporter comes up to me, said, how do you feel? How does it feel to, to, to play the game and to make the plays and to be the greatest team in the world. I said, well, every play this year has been the Super Bowl for me. Every single opportunity I had to get on the grass was an opportunity to thank God for the fact that he gave me another chance. And I told him too, man, you know what? I was so tired of eating when you chose to feed me. I wanted to eat every single time I was hungry. Starving was over. Eating off scraps was done. I wanted to get full. And to get full, you gotta always be ready to eat. And I'm done again. Told y'all, 30 seconds.
Never did receive a handout. Me and got it out. Nah, that's not right. Like I hear it and I'm doing it until the beat comes on. Then when the beat comes on, I can't get the key. Like words are hard to come by. Like yeah, very. Yeah, writing's much harder than talking. No question. People always want to be content creators. I'm like, no, writing is hard. Yeah, writing. Is hard. Like getting in front of it and doing it is a lot easier because you just have to have a personality. Yeah. yeah. But actually creating the, the content to move, that shit is hard. And like doing it all the time and hitting consistently. Yeah. That's why you gotta give people their props. I don't never sleep on nobody who writes. Like, if you really write, I fuck with you. Even if it ain't music that I love, I look at the, the artistry that you put behind it. That's why I can listen to Lil Baby with the time and, and listen to Black Thought. Because I, I like the process, you know what I mean? Receive a hand out. Me, I got it out. The mud took the man route. Right. Oh, okay. Never did receive a handout. Me, I got it out the mud, took the man route. What a hater really talking about. All right. Never did receive a handout. Never did receive a handout. Me, I got it out the mud, took the man route. What a hater really talking about. They can never feel the love when the sun's out. And then, it's not another part for a while. Another pair. They can never feel a hand out. Me, I got it out the mud, took a man out. What a hater really talking about. They can never feel the love when the sun's out. All right. So wait, we doing that part again or we going to the other part? Yeah, let's let's try that one more time. Never did receive a hand out. Me, I got it out the mud, took a man out. Never did receive a hand out. Me, I got it out the mud, took a man out. What a hater really talking about. They can never feel the love when the sun's out. That I used to navigate this Bumpy path I was on on some ape shit Took me so long I was going on in faces Every song put them on to the basics was the last one i remember being out on my ass son every play that i made done with passion to the end hold my own with the action all right let's have that song don't ever mention me without saying the greatest i'm a goat don't make me clear my throat and have to say it say it say it say it say it say it, say it. i'm a goat don't make me clear my throat and have to say it I'd have produced every church song I knew though. Boy, look how big Scotty Pans was. Yeah, that's, that's how we used to rock. I had some Steve Harvey Pans when I first started working with Will. Hey. Them bitches were trash. You know, you I had see the pictures, you know though, dog. Yeah. No, when you see the pictures, you like, wait. <laughs> Did I? And then I had to get them him because I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> Some of it was terrible, dog. I like the fans that wear like skirts. 
You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where them joints are big, <laughs> but like they so big in the middle, you can't tell their pants. Right. Yeah, though. You didn't have a five nine frame. Well, that's funny as hell, bro. Them Steve Harvey pants got me through a lot, boy. <laughs> bro, that's what everybody's shoes was back in the day. I, I literally had a Steve Harvey car. Just see it, see it, see it. Just a lot of clothes. You had a whole lot of clothes? Yeah. <laughs> Steve Harvey had suits and everything. That was his suits. Yeah, I was yeah. buying the pants. Because, you know, when I started working there, I ain't never had no job like that. So I had to go to K&G and just, like, buy a bunch of shit. Right. I went so to K&G. You went straight to, to the black people. Straight to K&G, uh, Men's Mark. You know what I'm saying? You went to the black clothes. Oh, no line. question. Because that shit fit. That and Sean John. Yeah. They like, made big you clothes. See me. You can try that. Sean Man, he got hurt for less, so please believe me. Well, it's come to this. Everything you put in. Every fight. All the blood. All the sweat. All the tears. Every time they looked at you and said you couldn't do it, this is the moment you've been waiting for. This is what the weight room is about. This is what the fighting is about. Nah, ain't no backing down. We don't get to come back into this locker room as losers. Because all we do every time we step on the field is get after they ass. So yeah, let other people play runner up. Because when we take the field, there can only be one. And that's always going to be us. Because we are truly secondary to none. Let's get them. Scotty Pippen was beat, but he pushed Scotty out of the way. Yo, why you be trying to hate on Mike all the time? Yeah, I just say he's the Like your player. favorite player be fighting. My favorite player is Iverson. <laughs> no, your favorite player is LeBron. And you, know, <laughs> you used to cry behind LeBron. Well, I ain't never cry behind LeBron. I cry behind my daddy. That's the only man I ever cry behind. cry behind LeBron, y'all. <laughs> I ain't never had a cry, a tear He's cry. so good. He playing with Della Vadova. That's, That's the, the truth. Man the man named Della Vadova. When the last opportunity you get for somebody to do a story on you to say the spotlight is growing dim on Clark, you think it's kind of over. So I didn't necessarily think about doing a pro day. I didn't go out and get trained. I trained myself. So I had the key to the indoor, and I would walk into the indoor. I would run. I would do my shuttles. And then I just still remember the day we had the pro day. I go out. I do all my testing, and everybody else is doing extra work because things were different. It wasn't like it is now. And then I remember draft day. Being at my son's birthday party, nobody there talking about the draft, nobody there thinking about the draft because we all knew I wouldn't get drafted. And then having one opportunity to play football or to continue my career and being stupid enough to think I was going to make it. I still remember it was a bar in Tigerland. I would go there all the time. When I was really good in college, they let me party for free, drink for free. I could wear the clothes that were on the regulations that you weren't supposed to be able to wear to go there because I was Ryan Clark. And I was sweeping the floor just because I was being silly. And I remember saying, you know what? I'm in here sweeping the floor, and I'm about to go make six figures. And then you think, nah, that's not what's guaranteed to an undrafted free agent. So you make the team, you play for two years, they get a new coach. And then when they get the new coach, even though you've started four games, even though you've put this work in, even though you've dragged your wife around Kings Grant playoff, you and your best friend and your wife get a membership so you can train yourself, you do all those things. And they say you're too small, right? They say you're not fast enough. They say we don't know if you can hold up for 16 games. We also don't know if you're good enough to play football in this league. Now, there's the Arena League, and they play football in Canada. And if you go do those things, we believe that you could possibly make it. But you can't play in the NFL. And this was after year two. So that summer, I woke up every single morning at 4 o'clock to drive to Baton Rouge to work my regular job. After my regular job, I would go and I would work out. Then I got picked up. And I just remember those words. You're not big enough. You're not fast enough. We don't think you can play in this league. 11 years later, Super Bowls, Pro Bowls, you retire on your own. Don't nobody else write your story. 
Your story starts how they started, but it finishes how you want it to finish. DB Precision.